Hi, my name is Cameron Carlson with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at MatsuriCon 2018 with my good pal, Mr. Ben Diskin. Hello. How are you? I, f I just forgot how microphones work. I was like, <laughs> how's it going? Very, very, I'm a professional. I talk into a microphone for a living. How are you? I'm all right, buddy. Cool. <laughs> so it's only been about two years since the last time you and I got the time to, got the time to chat. It was at ColossalCon 2016. How have you been in the last two years? Uh, miserable. Let me tell you about everything horrible that happened. No, it's been fine. It's, uh, it's Everything's been good. Uh, work's been pretty steady. And um, I actually haven't done really a real convention in a long while. So I feel like ColossalCon was like the last one I did. I don't think it was. But like it's like, like oh, yeah, wow. I've seen you before. I've seen you before. Right the, like, wait a minute. So it's just um, uh, basically nothing has changed, which is good. Because yeah. things were going okay back then. So yeah. yay. And since the last time we got the chance to talk, the Hey Arnold movie has come out. Uh, what was it like for fans to see that, you know, uh, growing up with it, you know, growing up with you? I mean, you and I aren't that far off and, and hearing you. So what was it like for the fans that grew up with you and, and got the chance to share their love of Hey Arnold again? Um, I'm just really glad that, like, they got to make this movie. Right. This this was the movie that uh, Craig Bartlett had wanted to make for Probably 20 years. And it really tied everything up. Yeah, it was supposed to, because I think uh, he wound up, I think it was like a network issue, yeah. and they were like, we have to do this, this like the city movie, the original Hey Arnold, the movie. And he was like, okay, we'll do it, and he liked it, and it's a good movie, but this was the one he really wanted to make to finally like bring it all home. Mm -hmm. And so, even though, like obviously it's not the original actors playing the characters, they've all grown out of it, right. um, It's it still has that same feel, it still has that same quality, and I feel like, it's so cool how this show just kind of lasts. Like, yeah. I mean, it's, I think it's it's airing on, is it Teen Nick, I believe? I it's something like that? It is right now. It's somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and people are watching it, and it's like, it's not an old show to those people. And I just think it's really cool that all this old stuff is coming back because it never really left. You know what I mean? And so I, I really like it, and I'm, I'm glad people get to experience it. <laughs> Awesome. Now, a fun show with a really unique art style and music style that I truly love and had a big four-year gap between seasons was K. And um, and you, what was it like to do that show one more time and then again come back around? Um, it was really cool. I mean, it's very hard because I'm a lot older now, yeah. so I can't get the energy up the way I used to. I can't. What I'm saying is I can't get it up the way I used to. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, it was no, it was um, it, it was it wasn't too challenging because what's what's great is that the characters have not changed at all. No. They're exactly the same. So it's like oh, yeah, I am this guy. He's a hot headed dude who right. skateboards and beats people with a baseball bat. Right. Gotcha. Can do. So like getting back into it was was pretty straightforward and easy. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, it's just it's just I'm glad the show came back yeah. because for a long time I was like, wow, that's a beautifully animated yeah. show and the music is gorgeous. Right. The sound is is great. It's like it's so fantastic. Yeah. Sam's gonna be playing like teenagers when he's like a hundred. It's like I don't I don't know what his secret is. It's like he has like the fountain of youth just right here. Right. right there. Um, I like it because as much as things change, they always stay the same. So yeah. there's always like that little like hint of exactly who he used to be just under there. And like right. I forget, does he ever actually get better with girls? I don't know. Because I don't remember ever going like suddenly like talking to a girl in the show and being like, yeah, what's up? Like <laughs> no, I don't. He never, no, no, he never really truly. Okay, it. Yeah. so that's what especially I mean. Stephanie, especially with, um, not Stephanie Shea. It's um, the large-chested lady on the. Oh, lady, oh, uh, right. Um, the, the ice queen. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She doesn't. He never gets along with her 100. percent No. He always calls her really nasty words that I won't repeat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was that's that's a that's that's a show I really have a love for. And another show that uh, I think a lot of fans like that we didn't talk about last time was Seven Deadly Sins. It's gotten, um, you know, the OVAs, the first season, the second season, somewhere in there. Um, so what's it like working on that show? I mean, I need to check it out myself personally. So what's it like working on it? Um, it's a really cool show to work on. Uh, it is really really nuts. And really, really fun because it's like it's the characters are kind of tropey and a little OTP, but they, they, oh, see, that, excuse me, not one true pair, a little, a little <laughs> OP, different, yeah. a little overpowered, getting my my things mixed up. Um, but um, they make fun of that. Right. So like my character is immortal, and so and Bryce's character is like indestructible, and so our idea of like having fun is like high fiving each other into walls. Right. So it's just like I've stupid stuff. Scenes, yes, like, yeah, but it's like yeah, and then we just slap the crap out yeah. of each other. It's great. Um, but it's like it's a really fun show, and like my dude is nice and easy on me yeah. because he's like always really chill, unless until he has to yell. But until then, it's just like hey, what's going on? All right, it's great to see you. Cool man, because he's he's immortal. He doesn't yeah. care, and um, uh, it's. 
it's a really fun. I'm really glad we got to do a second season because for a while up on Netflix, the four part like little oh, mini series. Yeah, 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 and people were like, "What is this? There's only four things, and they're yeah. not plot we, necessary." We Harlocker last year. And yeah. So like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. And, yeah. and apparently that's been fixed too. Yeah, that okay. so now it's going to be season two is is on its way. I have no idea when it's going to get there, but it is being made, so that is going to be a thing, and we're all like super psyched about that. And I, I like, I, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to come back to play their characters. But yeah, it's a cool. <laughs> show excuse me uh since metsuricon is all about fantasy this year you happen to join the fire emblem series franchise working on a ton of different characters in this in the fire emblem universe what's it like when fans come up to you and and, and discuss the various ones they they love you in or or even the ones that a little they lo love a little less but also still love so what's it like when they come up to you and be like this is all the characters i love that you've done so what's it like when fire emblem fans come up to you and talk to you so when Fire Emblem fans come up and talk to me, I recognize the name of my character and that's it. <laughs> it's like, I'm the worst. No, 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 here's why. I'm terrible at SRPGs, horrible. Any SRPG, I suck at it. So I tried to play Fire Emblem, like I need to know who this character is, what's going on, so that I can answer questions when people ask me. I got to like the first battle area, I just died immediately over and over again. I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't get the whole positioning on the, the, the chessboard thing. Like, yeah. no, I can't figure, and I just, and I sucked so bad. So now people are like, well, what did, what's your, what did you think about your interaction with the insert character here? And I'm just like, <laughs> I thought it was, Great. You talked about murdering their child. You thought that was great? No, 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 no. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I don't remember. I, oh, that's right, I did, I did. They're like, I'm just kidding, man. I'm messing with you. And you never said anything like that. Son of a, really? Yeah. So, no, I, I, I've, I really, you know what I should do? I need to sit down and like watch cutscenes, yeah. And then I would know what the heck is going on. Yeah. But, um, but it's a really cool game to be a part of. It's a really, because I know the series has been going on for like forever. Well, it's really, to be honest with you, like. It's it, picked up steam here. Right, yeah. yeah. Considering how many characters are in Smash, I really hope characters that people like this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're taking over. All right. So uh, another game that has spawned, spanned over three console generations is Kingdom Hearts series. And the third game numbered game that everybody has like dogged you for years <laughs> is finally going to be coming out organization 13 everything you know you're gonna you're finally gonna have a numbered three game so what is it for you to like finally be like i can't still talk about what i'm doing but i can tell you the game is coming out so go ahead um it's it's great. I feel like I'm kind of like limping across the finish line at the end of a marathon because yeah. it's like it's been so long. Where's Kingdom Hearts 3? Finally, it's here. Uh, but uh, yeah, until, until it comes out, I can't like talk about anything about it. But like, it's and also it helps that I know nothing about it pretty much because Other than, like, that little snippet that, that you got to record. Or yes, the little thing that's like on the internet that somebody filmed, yeah. the, like that thing. I know about that. Yeah. But that's about it. Yeah. So it's like okay, I know what happens in that one world. And everything else is a mystery to me. So like, I'm over here still going like, well, I hope this to see this world in the game. And like, right. no, people are like, you know what's in the game? No, I really don't. All I know is I recorded, and that was it. That's it. Yeah. So if I didn't record it, I got nothing. Unless, I, well, unless it's like uh, at E3, they had like a right. bunch of stuff All you could play. And, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. other than that, yeah. no. It's but no. It's I'm just glad it's it's actually a real thing, and it it seems like it's on track for an on time release. Don't say box. Don't say box. Not, not in front of Kingdom Hearts fans. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh God! What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, um, going back to a lot of your past, is that you actually used to be a child actor working on Wonder Years and Kindergarten Cop. What was it like to be an actor so young? And does do you feel like it really truly helped you come up in the world of voice acting? Because we had talked about it the first time we talked to you. You said like you know started before you were even born, thanks to your parents signing contracts before you even came out of the womb. Uh, you were like six when you got your first role. So what was it like you know working in an industry and then of course you know you you land all the voice acting roles after that. So what was it like at least being on set and learning to like work as an actor even at six years old? Um, it was it's not so bad. Um, because I was, I'm blessed that my parents are both actors, and I've, I'm sure I mentioned this before. Yeah. yeah, like they didn't torture me, so they didn't be like, "You got to be the best, you know, young actor in the world to be a movie star." They're like, "Make some money for college and then get a real job." But, um, uh, and thank God for that. But no, it was it was interesting because like when I was uh, eight is when I did uh, a movie called Kindergarten Cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger, right. Right. and let me tell you something. Woo! All those things you hear about like stage parents. Woo! Like being insane. Woo. Wow. Yeah. And it was like, I, I, they, my parents 
could not stand about 90% of the people in that room. They were they drove them nuts. Um, and so, like, as a kid, they tried to shelter me from as much craziness as they possibly could. But being a kid actor and dealing with other kids not understanding what I was doing and thinking I was rich and stuff drove me crazy. Um, when I got my first voice acting job, well, animation voice acting job, which was, like, I was 10, that's what made me realize, oh, nobody knows it's me, so I can do whatever I want. So this makes me feel like, hey, I can I can play characters and not be harassed by all these other kids at school. I like this voiceover stuff. And that's why I started going, you know, I think I want to do more VO stuff. And I kind of slowly stopped doing the on-camera stuff and the yeah, VO stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and also, you know, when you're a little kid, especially when I was like eight especially, I would do like radio commercials. And it's like, you're a kid. You can take direction and you can speak clearly. We're gonna put you in everything, and so like I'd be in like you know like Radio Shack commercials and you know the McDonald's commercials and whatever they could use because it was just like just get Ben he can talk, <laughs> good, um, and so now I have to do more than talk unfortunately, uh, otherwise like I would be I would be working more I think but oh well it's all it's all still good, um, so no just being a kid actor is just. It's um it's weird, but it, it it I had probably the best experience you can have as a kid actor, really. Alrighty, um, and uh, just kind of wrapping things up, we understand the pesky NDA, and we understand that you can't get around those. Yeah. So what shows are currently available that fans can check out that you want them to check out that are available currently? Okay. Uh, let's see. It's something I don't think anybody watching this is probably going to watch because, but it, it would be Muppet Babies. It's on Disney Junior. It, that's why it's a Disney Junior show. So but I'm I like, like Muppet Babies. I mean, so do I. But I'm just saying, like, I don't like, oh, like, oh man, I got to wake up Saturday morning and watch the Muppet Babies. Like, I'm not that, <laughs> I mean, which is a, probably a good thing because I'm like 36, like, since yesterday. So, like, I really don't think I should, oh, you yeah, know. That's right. We sang Happy Birthday to yeah. privately last night. Yay. <laughs> um, but um, it would be that. Oh, and also, because this one, it's not getting enough traction. I really wish more people would see it. It's actually legitimately funny. It's Rocky and Bullwinkle on oh, really? uh, yeah. Amazon. Um, so yeah, it's it's on Amazon Prime, and it's actually pretty darn good. I think we're, we did one season, and they divided it into two parts. I don't know if the second part is out yet, but the first part is, and it's like nuts, and it's really enjoyable. Um, as for like anime, which I should probably talk about, <laughs> given the circumstances. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, not hard. Um, uh, let's see. Check me out at MatsuriCon, uh, the anime. It's uh, it's it's very niche. It's very uh, no. Um, oh gosh. Um, I'm working on. Oh okay. It recently came out. It's Twin Star Exorcist. Um, uh, Bryce is the lead in that. I play uh, one of the series villains uh, whose name is Kamui. And also, I'm also weirdly enough, I'm the voice that goes along with Bryce's demon fist. So. Like when his when he's yelling, I have to like mirror whatever Bryce is doing in like a <laughs> kind of voice, like uh, I'm going to do this kind of thing. And um, at various points, he punches me in the face with also me. So I just find that amusing. I'm punching myself. Yes, just stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so like that's a cool show. And uh, oh, and also check out Haida on Agretzko. It's um, it's uh, it's we we got a second season, um, and it's on Netflix. It's really fun. It's like super short. You can binge watch the entire show in like two and a half hours, uh, and it's really fun. And yay! He's screaming red panda. He's screaming death metal red panda. Yeah. yeah, come on. What's not to love, right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Alrighty, and uh, just kind of finishing it up. Uh, where can we follow you online? And then what message would you like to give to the fans that have given you love and support since your early days of acting? Um, I'm technically on Facebook. I don't check it super often. It's uh, facebook.com slash Ben Diskin official. It says Ben Diskin like fan page. This was back when I didn't realize how Facebook worked. I didn't know that a fan page was supposed to be made by fans. So like I made my own fan page. It, I, I feel really vain saying that. It's, it's not me going like, I'm so great. Meh. But that's like. <laughs> Anyway, so it's that. It's just it's just a page. It's just, I should I should really just change the dang name. Anyway, um, it's that, and also the easiest. I'm I'm much most much more active on Twitter. Uh, it's at Benjamin Diskin. I couldn't get at Ben Diskin. Right, because there's a lawyer that has it, right? No, it's just some dude. <laughs> but here's the thing: if I actually if I write to Twitter, I'm like, hey, I want that. I lose my verification. Yeah. I probably won't get it back. So I'm like, all right, well, just call me. But what my mom calls me when she's mad, Benjamin Diskin. Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. So there's that. Um, and uh, as, as for the message from my fans, thank you so much. I have no job without you. So thank you so much for like watching all of this stuff and just being a fan of anime in general. Um, it's because of guys like you that people like me have, have work and also so many others and that the anime industry is booming the way it is right now. It's, it's, it's everywhere. And thank God, because it really adds a lot of variety, I think. So yeah. we're not just getting to hear just, it's, it's not an echo chamber. You know, we don't hear just the American cartoons. We get to see stuff from all over the world, stuff from France and Japan and yeah. even Russia, Germany, Italy, yeah. all over the place. Um, and it's so cool. So thank you so much for watching all this stuff. And, um, Keep on doing what you do, because we really appreciate it. Again, Ben, this has been awesome, my friend. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank yeah. you.